Hi, this is another video in the series where we're looking at bounds questions for GCSE type questions. And what it says is the circle has a radius of 14 centimetres. The important bit here is it's correct to the nearest centimetre. So what we mean by that, if we have 14, it would mean the lowest this could possibly be would be 13.5 centimetres. And the highest it could possibly be would be 14.5 centimetres. So be careful, we're not really talking about rounding numbers. Effectively, bounds are kind of tolerances, really. We're looking at the ideal being 14, but this is 0.5 lower and this is 0.5 higher. OK, so then it says calculate the upper bound for the circumference of the circle. So once again, back from primary school, you need to remember your formulas for circumference. And actually in part B, it's the area. So the circumference of a circle, the way I remember it is pi D. Some people remember it as 2 pi r. It doesn't really matter which one you use. OK, in this particular case, I'm going to say pi D. OK, so if it's pi D, well, remember, this is the radius. So basically, I'm going to have pi and it's the diameter is two lots of the radius. So it's two times 14.5. Well, two times 14.5 is 29. So it says give your answer in terms of pi. Well, in terms of pi, the circumference is going to be. 29 pi. OK, so just in terms of pi, it means that we don't need to calculate that any further. OK, hope that's all right for you. Let's have a look then at the upper bound for the area of the circle. So again, let's have a look at uh, the, the kind of formula you need, the area of a circle. I remember it as pi r squared. OK, hopefully some people might say pi times r times r and that's perfectly fine as well. So going back to our upper and lower bounds over here, if we want the upper bound for the area of the circle, we're going to need to multiply by 14.5. OK, that's the upper bound. OK, so it's going to be pi and then it's 14.5 squared. OK, so if I just put that into my calculator, that's going to be and all I'm going to do here is just use my calculator and I'm going to say, well, it's 14 point. Hopefully that's on. It's going to be 14.5 squared. OK, and that's going to give me an answer of 210.25. So that's going to be 210.25. Pi. And again, we've been asked to give the area in terms of pi, so we don't need to multiply it by pi and then round it. OK, hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below in the comments. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Have a look at the other videos with other examples of working through bounds on this particular playlist. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.